Greetings YouTube visitors. What are you learning today that will help you better serve God? All right, it's a beautiful day. It's kind of warm today. I want to talk to you about the two separate times that I met Charlton Heston. The late Charlton Heston, who did such movies as Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur. Great films. I know you've seen them if you're in your 30s or 40s or 50s or older. If you're in your 30s and you haven't seen these two films, shame on you. You need to, to buy them, actually. Okay, these are classics. The two separate times I met this gentleman was once in 1996 before I moved to Hollywood. Some of you know I was a, an actor who moved to Hollywood in 1996. And before moving to Hollywood, I was in Stockton working for a catering company at one of those survival jobs. When you get to Hollywood, there's a lot of survival jobs. But anyway, I was working for a, a nice catering company and little did I know that two big personalities were supposed to be there. One was Charlton Heston and the other one was Margaret Thatcher. Well, Margaret Thatcher didn't show up or she wasn't there. So I might've got some bad information, but Charlton Heston was there and I actually served him some either wine, coffee, water, I can't remember, but I saw him at the table and I served him. I didn't say anything to him. That wasn't uh, something you were supposed to do. <laughs> so afterwards, I went back to where all the other caterers were and I uh, no, asked Mr. Heston. I said, ask Mr. Heston if he knows of any good acting teachers in Hollywood. But I figured, you know, if I had a connection with an acting teacher that he could recommend or refer me to, that that would be a good thing. You know, it might help me get some work, some film work. Well, I got the answer back from the caterer later on. The answer was, there's a lot of them there, or you'll find some in Hollywood. There, there's a, something like that, like you'll find a few of them there. But no names, you know, he didn't give me any names. So that didn't help too much, did it? I didn't have a whole lot of money when I went to Hollywood anyway. The second time I met Mr. Heston was at the uh, Academy Awards. It was at the ballroom. Um, what do you call that anyway? It was right after the awards. We, went, we, we actually snuck into an area where the actors were. And Mr. Heston was there. And I think, well, anyway... I remember my friend Paul. That was 1998. Yeah, it was, it was the same year that the Titanic came out, I think. My friend Paul, who was from Maryland, he came out to pursue... Um, well, he came out as a screenwriter. I was an actor. and He said something like... Uh, well, he took my picture. I don't remember what he said at that point. He helped me in a way by taking a picture on the spot. Mr. Heston didn't seem to mind. He was a big guy. I think he was at least, at that time, he was older, probably six foot two. He might have shrunk a little bit. I'm only five, nine and a half, five, ten. And so I got that picture in my scrapbook somewhere. And, you know, I went on to meet a lot of, of different people, different celebrities that I wasn't even looking for. I was kind of starstruck when I first came to Hollywood, but really my purpose was to make it big, get some acting work, and to be a role model for youth. Because I knew that if I could make it fairly big on the screen, that I'd be able to get my books out there, kind of like Elizabeth Taylor and some of these big celebrities, right? And get interviewed on talk shows. And that was, that was my little puny idea, you know? A noble idea, but kind of fleshly and carnal, really. Uh, didn't quite work out. So... That's it. And this is four minutes. So we can just end it there. After many years, I've learned not to be starstruck. These people are just humans. Mr. Heston, I don't think he was a Christian, but he was a, well, who knows what his faith was. I never spoke to him, but he was definitely a conservative. And I think he was the president of the National Rifle Association. So he was in commandments I saw when I was in high school several times. Ben Hur, I didn't see till later on after I moved to Hollywood. I remember going to the Hollywood Bowl one time. I think it might have been with my friend Paul or with my mother. I can't remember. But they had some beautiful music. They actually played the music to Ben Hur. But 
it didn't strike me as extremely beautiful until after I rented or bought the film, actually. So I moved out of Hollywood years later, and that music is tremendous. I forgot who actually composed it, but if you listen to the intermission, the, the interlude, I guess it's called, listen to that music. Fantastic mu uh, movie. Um, inspirational, you know? So... All right, that's it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and until we meet again, may the Lord richly bless you.